Hi, I'm Tina Amadi. Welcome back to Spiritual Rhapsodies. From last episode, we were talking to Rex Wakama, Minister Rex Wakama, and he is a director, a producer, a writer, a, 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 a cinematographer, and he's got so much, so much, and we're, we're so happy to have him here with us and really giving us good content about media ministry and the, the level of um, creatives uh, in, in, in the body of Christ. He is the president uh, of Oracle of God, Drama and Film Ministries, and Oracle Films Production. So welcome back. How thank are you again? <laughs> thank you, Tina. Thank you, thank you, it's thank you. It's, it's so nice so to be here. Good. Thank you. So nice to be here. Thank so nice so to be much. here. So. It's so nice to have you. And please, let's talk more about the support for people who are in the creatives, or the creatives in the faith base. What should they focus on as their support um, network? Yeah, so, um, you know, stemming from our discussion from last episode and, you know, where we picked up from, uh, I already just in, in a little... Um, uh, going back a little bit, exactly. a few minutes, uh, what we discussed in hindsight, I spoke about having a spiritual oversight. Yes. Um, you know, in this work, there's really no way you want to stay without accountability. You need to have someone. In my case, I told you about Pastor Nebadru, my is my pastor. That's my, I attend the local church. He's a pastor over me. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, he's a mentor. You know, I mean, we relate at different levels. Wow. Yeah, and um, I, I can't ask for a better uh, spiritual support than it's what needed. God gave me. And, I, mm -hmm. and that, you know, to a large extent, that made me understood why God held me back for a couple of years in New York before I got to Houston and then before allowing the work to resume. So in between Nigeria and here, it was like, there was that period where I just, it wasn't dry, it was wasn't just, just like, like a hold up, like a time and when God is saying pause for a little bit. And every time I try to make an effort, but it's just like a period where you're pausing, you know, but then coming to Houston, God evolved this work. So I really want to thank God for Pastor Badru, that man of God and his wife. Um, and of course, all the burden in the church that we work together. Now, but our ministry is you know, a global ministry is a ministry that reach out to the world, we do all the things, produce movies, not just for the church to go out. Okay. But much more than that, much more than that, you need a friend. You need a spouse. Yes. You know, so I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not going to apologize for this. Uh, I don't believe in a James and John relationship. That's right. Okay, I believe in an Adam and Eve relationship. That's right. Okay, and I, don't, I believe you understand what yeah, I mean by so that. So I have, a, I have a spouse who I love so much. And like I told you last time, we met in drama. Awesome. I can't start. If I start that, it's going to be forever. You know, I, I want that story. Don't let it go there. Don't let it go there. Story. Story. But one thing oh, I can God. tell you was, you know, even when we had uh, the Lord Renee ministry, that ministry back in the days, and I was so, I was very spiritual. I mean, well, I'm always very spiritual. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> you were, but, were you but I, I, I carry this facade of, uh, you know, this mindset of someone that's so spiritual. Sometimes I find it very difficult to even shake a sister. <laughs> she was the one, she was the only one that would that. look at me high ball to high ball and say, come on, you got to come down to the level of this burden. You have to be, you know, I mean, oh the way God. she talks, the way she carries the whole sister the way she helps with the ministry before the before i actually you know just i just fell in love with her mm -hmm. you know and uh before you know it's a long story let's go I there want, but anyway i want those stories well right now right now we're married we've been married for we're married for uh almost tw uh, well we got married 2001 mm -hmm. so this is uh, it's about 17 17 16 years almost and uh, got We've us, known oh yeah we, we we knew way before we knew in the ministry well yeah. we knew we've known each other over 20 years you know and um she has been a strong support uh she knows that my area of passion my love my calling is into christian faith-based movies christian drama and we just do it together we do it with so much love uh and i mean we don't feel it because it can have a toll on the family it's really when yes. you have to go on location and you have to write scripts. Sometimes when I'm writing scripts, I take time off 
you know, uh, just to be with the Lord or just to be to have a retreat and write. I mean, it, it takes a toll on the family yeah, sometimes, yeah. even financially sometimes. Right. But you know, she just, I've never had an issue. Support. I have never had an issue. So the, if you don't get it right, <laughs> I mean, you don't, if you don't get it right at that point, so oh my God. You will suffer. You, I, I mean, I'm telling you the truth. No, it's so you know, um, One of my very good example, again, is um, Evangelist Mark Bamiloye and uh, Mommy Gloria Bamiloye, very, very, very good friends. Mm -hmm. Friends in ministry, mentors. Yes. I love those couples. I don't know if you've met the kid, their children. No. Uh, Dami, Damilola yeah. Bamiloye, Joshua Bamiloye, and Dara Simi. Man, Damilola Bamiloye has a mind beyond his father. I mean, and that's exactly the dream the of the dad. Every father, you know. Parent. And if the, when we when we had Shapshuta recently, the whole family was with us. After finishing a uh, length of time with my very good friend, partner ministry, Fleming Sword Ministry, Bawalia Day in Dallas. You know, we'd had a very good time in Dallas. They had a, they had two movie productions. I'll talk about one of them, actually two of them briefly, because as part of current yeah, projects that we have, mm -hmm. but they had shot a movie called uh, uh, Abejoye. Oh. You know, it's uh, in a, a very beautiful comedic epic you know, which we're screening this week. But anyway, um, so they had had a long time, a, a couple of days or weeks with uh, Fleming Sword, mm -hmm. uh, Dei and just uh, Bambu Dei and the whole family and the family of Fleming Sword. And after that, so when they came around and we celebrated their 29th wedding anniversary Joshua. and all that, so you know, um, Joshua is an editor. Joshua, most of the movies now, Joshua does the editing. He does the soundtrack, the music oh scoring. God. Beautiful dog. You, yes. you know, I mean, looking at the family, that family alone by itself, the five of them. It's like a, a team. <laughs> <laughs> it's because, like a production because company. Because you know, I was oh looking at the, I was looking at the, the location of Abejoye, which you probably see that movie very soon. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just practically a walk between, Father. you know, that family because just the five of them that came, and uh, you know, uh, Bawale's family. That's that's that's, that's it. The team. And that's what every person. And when you watch the movie, you won't see. Well, you won't see Dar Dami and uh, Joshua. They were behind the scene, you know. It. But but they, the, the the Lord has helped the family to bring up those kids. The wife, everyone understands the vision. The, to the Why point, the one that touched me the most was when Dami, because we had Dami speak briefly during Chapter mm -hmm. Summit. It's a summit we hold every year, mm -hmm. and then okay. Joshua spoke a little bit. These kids. This, I'm sorry, these children are also in full-time ministry. Wow, you know what I mean? I, I, I sat down, I, I sat down there and I couldn't believe it. This is a great example. So my point is, if you miss it, if you get it wrong from partner. your partner, mm -hmm. I mean, if Daddy Mike had gotten it wrong with Sister Gloria, I mean, we can't see we can't that. can't see that the children wouldn't even. And look at the trend of Mount Zion, the, 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 uh, the post-production work. The, 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 the quality Excellent. of the movie went from that level to it that level, up. you know, with yeah. the help of these children. So look at what Joshua does. I mean, his, uh, his little, uh, I mean, there's it's too much, too much I, can, I don't want to start talking about all that. But my point is, mm -hmm. you have right. to get it right. Once you get it right with your spouse, either if you're a female in the drama ministry or film ministry, and your spouse or the male or whichever way it is, once you get it right, you can build a whole, and it don't, they don't have to be in full-time ministry, don't get me wrong. You, yeah. you know, they can be in their, in, their, in their peculiar vocation or specialties or profession and still be part of the vision. My yes. children, by the grace of God, you know, it's some of the things, just recently my son had to go for an editing, an editing training and he's also, uh, I, I enrolled him during this last summer in an animation school, oh. you know, because I have a passion for animation, and I'm hoping that one day we'll be able to do an animation as good as Frozen, yes, you know, as good as Frozen. That would be a very nice, faith, faith based movie. I'm believing God for that. So I kept telling my son, because he's very artistic, I said, Look, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do that. <laughs> You know? And that's how you begin to you know? train their thoughts. And I'm all. telling you, because I mean, look at my age now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm still young, but young. do you think I'm going to be able to sit down? So, but you want him to So, my point, my point is, mm -hmm. you have to get it right first with your spouse. Once you get it right, whatever the Lord gives you, then you guys can work together and they will understand mm -hmm. where God is taking you to. 
uh, I think that's very the very key. 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 Every other support, of course, is networking, relationship, and that brings me to uh, in, in North America, we have, excuse me, mm -hmm. in North America we have an association called North American Conference of Evangelical Drama and Film Ministers, mm -hmm. called NASADRAM. Okay, I've heard of NASADRAM. NASADRAM was established seven years ago, and to the glory of God, it's becoming a hub. We are Christian film ministers, irrespective of your races or um, your demographic, for as long as you're in the United States, we are coming together to form something that can be a kind of support, okay. you know, spiritual support, technical support in terms of research, in terms of diversifying, in terms of, you know, just coming up with something that will be competing, much more than competing, something that will impact lives. You know, and I think that's the kind of other networking, that's the kind of support that the, anyone that wants to be part of this ministry or this work should envisage because it comes with a whole lot of like benefits. It's like a, 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 a partnership where you go, the people enter and they join. So, Nasodram is like just an association. It's a okay. It's an association, but you know, as we come together, we hold annual conferences. As of right now, mm -hmm. we have uh, seven states, if I'm not mistaken. Six to, I think we have seven states mm -hmm. as of right now. Um, we have uh, Texas, we have New York, we have Maryland, mm -hmm. we have Indianapolis, wow. we have Rhode Island, um, we have um, uh, Virginia just got inaugurated. Uh, I think we have about seven wow. right now. You know, and it's still growing and evolving. Uh, the whole goal is just to bring people together okay. to do what they will not either to be able to do as an individual. They won't be able you to. You know? you, so you to bring to bring that team. synergy yeah. together, so we can work together as a team. So that's the whole idea of uh, Nasdram, and um, we believe in God that we get more people to come in and be part of that. Yeah. So those are some of the things you need. That level of spiritual support and an oversight. You know, I mean, you can't get it wrong in your family if you want to get it wrong in the home front. That's it. That's you know, it. I mean, then of course networking. networking. Uh, some other people, some other things can also help, but you know, they, I would say at this point they are secondary. Yeah, Those are things that can count as core. Great prayer and life, primary. great spiritual yes. leadership. Of course, as of course, with the, that, that assuming one. that you know what yeah, you you've know. already gotten to yeah. the face of God. <laughs> yes, <first>. yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. What current projects are you working on? Uh, have you worked on that you can share with us? The well, and the future. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we've done just a little bit. Uh, but um, we've done some movies. We we um, we have some movies that we've shot and produced before. Okay. Uh, Dryness on the Brook. Yes, it did. Um, we've done um, uh, Sunrise. <gasps> um, we did uh, Bloodline. Um, just recently, we released a, a movie titled Time to Leave mm -hmm. uh, to TVs. Uh, they're still just in TV stations. I think we have them running on about three or, I mean, seven or eight TV stations right now. Okay. Um, at some point, early next year, maybe we'll have it available uh, on other platforms, but okay. for now. And actually, um, there is a distributor that is considering pushing it to cinema in Nigeria. Um, just from this last trip, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, we've, uh, we've also worked in partnership with several other ministries, uh, with NASADRAM, the NASADRAM produced Critical Choice mm -hmm. and uh, Waiting Period, I, I think, that. you know, and then with some other ministries who've partnered in several other ways. Okay. Um, uh, I've helped, you know, ministries either to direct or to hack, and some of our members also have been part of, you know, we cross we cross operate yes. like that. Um, that we believe in God also for um, more projects as we go into 2018. Mm -hmm. We actually have, I think, three projects in the pipeline. Okay. You know, I don't want to blow it now, but uh, at least I can tell you we're looking at a possible t another possible TV series, a full-length TV series, oh, wow. and um, you know, a, fu a future movie. Uh, we're, we're praying and we're still trying to just believe God for the funding and the resources and everything needed for that. Um, right now, like we have, like I told you, we have Oracle Films. Mm -hmm. Oracle Films is part of the ministry that help, you know, other ministries, even Howards, of course, primarily Howards, and then other ministries to either uh, do post production in their movies and then to push their movies out and, you know, things like so that. You can help others. 
who yes. are there to partner yes. and get their production. Absolutely. Okay. So we consult with other move, other ministries who may want to produce movies in That's different dimensions, either to at the level of the screenplay or at the before pre-production level, or even in the while in location or post-production stage. Um, one of the one of the projects that is um, and I'm really passionate and interested about now is what I told the mm -hmm. Abejoye. Abejoye was shot uh, by Mount Zion and Fleming Sword as a joint project, and it was such a beautiful story. And um, uh, we're premiering it in Houston and Dallas okay. this Christmas season. This Christmas season? Yes. So you got to give us all the. Yeah, the way. yeah, okay. yeah. We'll send. I'll send Trina and I'll send it to you guys. I mean, it's you need you need to see that movie. It's just so beautiful. If someone's got to get in contact with you, how, what's the best way? Give us the best way to for ministry work for partnership. What's the best for way? ministry work? Our website is oraclefilms.org. Oraclefilms.org. Okay. Uh, all the contacts are, are there. There. Okay. there. Or Oracle of God Drama Ministries. Org. Um, you know. Or. Um, we also have a Facebook page, okay. you know, if you search for Oracle Films, you'll there, find there. it there. In and the there. next couple of minutes before we close, we've got less than three, four minutes. Can you minister to the people? Just let us know what your heart is telling you for the season and, and for all those creatives in the faith-based industry. What are you well, hearing, what are you you hearing know, the for the season? The, the truth is um, our life is nothing without a purpose. And I believe that God has deposited certain gifts, certain callings in every life, no matter how minute or how big we think it is. You know, unto those that he gave one talent, two talent, three talent, he did give talents. He always give talents. Um, my encouragement, my word of advice is we should understand that our life is just for a period of time. Uh, we can impact life, we can impact generation at whatever level, but be doing something. Mm. Trust God, ask God, seek the face of God, ask Him exactly why you're existing. It's much more than the vocation, it's much more than the dollars, That's the right. pounds, the euros that we make. I mean, I love making dollars, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I love making money, but the truth is, your life has to sound mm. or has to speak for a reason. You know, the truth of the matter is, it could only just be one thing that God wants you to do. I was telling somebody, I said, look, it could be just one movie that God wants you to do in your lifetime. Once you get that achieved, you're done. Yeah. God could have someone else to do 20, 50, 40, or just write a story, whatever it is. There has to be something that God wants your life to, to resonate for in this generation. We cannot sleep anymore. We are living in a generation where churches are divided. Mm. There is wars of partition. There's so much distraction. I mean, look at what is going on politically in Jerusalem right now. It's just, we're running to the hand of the age. Mm -hmm. So we cannot sit and fold our hands anymore. This is the time to become relevant. This yes. is the time to speak and make an impact for what the Lord has called us to become. Yes. I am looking up to a time when we all will stand up and say, look, this is what God has called me to do and I will run with it. Look, my, like um, Evangelist Mike will always say, and my wife will always say to me, you know, Evangelist Mike will say, my vision is clear. I only have one calling, and that is what it is. You know, I know what God has called me to do. Uh, I know what God has asked me to do. Yes. You know, of course there will be challenges, but it's not going to stop me from doing what I'm doing. Right. So I don't know what God has called you to do. I don't know what God has asked you to do. Don't think it's a big thing. It can be something as small as just sweeping the church or just helping the ministry or just sowing a seed of $10 every month. It could be just connect with God and understand what God has called you to do and be faithful with it. Only heaven will reveal the beauty of what we have done for him. You know, the truth of the matter is we live in this world, we cannot be relevant. We have to be relevant. I keep telling my children, I said, well, you guys will run through time and you will matter in this generation. But you know what? You will matter for Christ. That's right. Much more than anything else. Because that's just the truth of it. And I really want to pray that the Lord will grant unto everyone Amen. a clear vision, a clear understanding of what God has called you to be. In this period that we are here, in this festive season, I want to wish everyone a very, 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 very Merry Christmas and, uh, you know, a prosperous New Year in 2008 as we're on in 2008 and believing God for greater things in this year. Thank you so much, Tina. It's been a nice time being with you. Really nice time. So much content, so much information. I am so, so, so happy to have had you here. Thank you. Thank you and so I much. I know the viewers will enjoy it. I bet you you're going to get a lot of... <laughs> <laughs>
lot of requests and mentoring. Oh, yeah. I, I hear a lot of mentoring in you. Thank um, you so much. God bless you. Thank uh, you. We thank you so much. 2018 is good. We're looking forward to contents from yeah. your ministry. God bless you. Absolutely. Thank you. Once I want to say thank you to you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. God bless you.